But to not go out and address your weaknesses, to me, is just stupid. I mean, you cannot. I, Jordan Love, there's no guarantee Jordan Love is going to be Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers was projected as the number one quarterback, and he went in the middle of the 20s. I don't know what his, what, what place he was in first round, but he went late. So Jordan Love reminds me a lot of Mahomes in, in a sense, but I knew more about Mahomes than I ever do about Love. I didn't even know who he was till the till the till the, they started talking about in the draft. But I I was shocked that they did not get him. They got a tight end, fine. They got a running back, fine. But they didn't get wide receivers. How can you not get receivers? I don't understand that, Jimmy. Well, I, I think number one, you know, of course, Love had a great junior year. And yeah. he lost his offensive coordinator. He lost some uh, supporting cast. So he didn't play as well as senior. He also year. lost his head coach, Jimmy. He, just, he lost his coordinator, head coach, and yeah. nine of the other starters on offense going into his final year. Yeah, All yeah, offensive and, linemen were gone. And I think Green Bay, more than anything else, they saw an opportunity to get an extremely talented player. And so they, they grabbed the opportunity. Now, they did try to move up in the second round to get a receiver and they were unable to do it. it was, the price was too high. So, yeah, I guess they're comfortable with who they have and they feel like maybe they can pick up somebody in free agency. If they hit on this guy, they could have that position locked up for 15 years. Uh, and that's big. You know, really him being under Aaron Rodgers is going to make him that much better player. Aaron Rodgers is not known to be someone that's going to friendly invite this kid into his into his home and, and tutor him. That's just what you hear about Aaron Rodgers. Having been on the other side of it with Brett Favre, you wonder if it doesn't open his eyes a little bit more. Yeah, I thought about that. Would. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I thought about that. Yeah, so, but at the flip side of it, you like to, in the media, go, hey, this guy can mentor that guy. Jimmy, is it one guy's job to mentor another guy, especially if you know it's eventually he's going to replace you? No, it just happens by osmosis. I mean, he's going to be in the quarterback room with Aaron Rodgers. He's going to be on the sideline watching Aaron Rodgers. He's going to be listening to the coaching staff talk to Aaron Rodgers and the interaction. So he will learn a lot just being there. Aaron Rodgers doesn't have to do anything as far as teaching him. Yeah, just being there, he'll learn a lot. Yeah, but he's not. You know, I, I it used to be Jimmy back, back in the '60s. Let's go way back. And the scouts would say, you draft a quarterback, it takes five years to get him ready to start. That's long gone now. But him watching and observing, that's good for Aaron Rodgers because that's how Aaron Rodgers plays, mm -hmm. and that's how he prepared. This kid may be <clears throat> totally different. He's got to get on the field. You know, he will in preseason, and he'll do mop-up duty. But I, I don't and, know enough about him. And, Terry, Aaron Rodgers has had some injuries too now. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> so he may get some play time because Aaron Rodgers has not been injury-free. Yeah. And we've talked about it on this show. There were people in the National Football League who thought that with time, as a developmental guy, Jordan Love yeah. could wind up being as good as any other quarterback <clears throat> in this draft. This is a perfect situation if you believe that because he goes there and he can develop and he can take his time. So obviously time will tell with that. For the best access, perspective, and personalities in all of sports, follow us at Fox Sports on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.